What is it? And why have you been chilling? Because your cup don't fool. Do you know me? I don't know you. I am Ben's wife. The woman whose husband you've been chasing and trying to snatch. Ben. Who is Ben? Shut up! You liar. Who is Ben? Are you mad? You think I don't know that my husband is in your house at the moment? Is that it? Say, I'll just advise that you control your husband and tell him to stay away from me. What's that? Is that what you can say? That's a stupid thing to say. Rose, let's waste this bitch and get the hell out of this place. No, 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 don't do now. I understand. I mess up, they bring slap. Let me tell you, madam, strong woman, I beg you, let go of my husband from wherever you have tied him. Who knows if you use Juju on him? Oh, excuse me, I'm not fetish. Ben and I grew up together. My mother was working for his father before he died, and after he died, we moved out of the house. Which house? Do you mean Rosie's present matrimonial home? Ben inherited the house from his father. That's my dream home. I've lived there for almost all my life. Tell me about my husband's history. Debbie, let me warn you. I can see right now that you are the only woman he sleeps with. You are the only one whose food he eats. You are the only one who he gives all the attention and time. What kind of a woman are you? You're not going to marry your own. I don't understand. I'm sorry, but how is that supposed to be my fault? Every of your goddamn fault. You think I don't know that the house you are living is my husband that rented it for you? You think I don't know? And he's even going to get you a supermarket or a boutique or whatever. But what happens to me, his wife? Have you ever thought about it? Because you don't care, obviously. Let me warn you. Let this be the... You see, I'm going to pretend as if I don't know that Ben has been spending money on you. I'm going to pretend as if you didn't act very familiar with my husband. I'm going to pretend as if we didn't have this conversation. The next time you see my face, madam, it will be the last thing that you see. Do you understand? I will be the last thing you see. Don't think that I'm quiet, oh. I just came to have a conversation with you and I want to believe that you listened. Did you hear me? Did you hear her? Did you hear her? Let's go. Next time, you will surely not be this lucky. You have been living with a murderous woman and you never knew. The plan was to assassinate me, if not for the crowd. I don't get it. Um, she had a gun? Yes. A pistol. Their aim was to shoot me. Their aim was to shoot me. But because they had so many people there, they couldn't. They caught up with me. They started slapping me, beating me, and saying all sorts of things. They even threatened to kill us. They threatened to kill me too? Yes. You're welcome. I'm sure you must have heard everything that she's been talking about. You were listening. I mean, that's why I'd rather spend time here with Debbie than that, that, that scallywag that calls herself my wife. Just imagine what would have happened today. See, and I'm pointing this out to you because I know personally that you do not approve of, of I and Debbie. But look at what would have happened. You need to do things right in order to make things right. Okay. <sighs> See, I, I just hope you do whatever you have to do before she do anything dangerous. <laughs> Debbie. I have warned you about this kind of relationship. And what's that? I have warned you to stop inviting Mr. Ben into this house. Hey, hey, stop it, stop it. Stop. Please stop. I'm not in the mood for this. Don't piss me off. Debbie, you must listen to me. You've been playing with fire and it's about to burn you. Please don't let this affect me too. And how is this supposed to affect you? The woman who is after your life. She will come here looking for you and I may get caught up in the middle. Debbie. Please, don't bring in trouble into my house. Your house? 
I am entitled to my rights, even if we pay rent together. Go, go inside. Okay. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. What have you done this time? What are you up to? Oh, so, so, so you plan to kill me? Huh? Is that what she told you? No, I know you were denied. Your mission this time was to kill her first, then kill me. I mean, Rose, why would you think this far? What are you talking about? I only went to her to beg her to allow me enjoy my marriage. What kind of begging is that? When you were chasing her in a car? Chasing her to kill her or by a fatal accident? It's like she has the gun anyway. What gun are you talking about? Can you just stop all these accusations? Listen, I was only trailing her so that we can meet somewhere and, and discuss peacefully and that's exactly what happened. No, listen. Listen, Rose. You have become so insecure and desperate. You have to descend to this level. Tell me about insecurity. You caused it. You are the one who gave up everything and you gave it to that non-entity of a woman. You disrespect me. You abandon your responsibilities as a husband. Have you ever put it to ask yourself why? Now listen, you are the one who pushed me into the arms of another woman. I pushed you. Yes, you did. You did. And go and ask yourself or go and find the reason. All right, listen. Debbie is a young girl I was supposed to have married long ago before you came into the picture. Alright? My family and her family have had a long-standing relationship and she had lived here way before you came in. Get that into your thick skull. Fine. You want to marry her, right? Yes. I'm planning to marry her. And listen, nobody, not even you can stop me. It's fine. Nobody's stopping you. It's okay if you want to marry her as long as you're not bringing her into this house. Oh, really? Yes, uh, really. Yeah, we should, we'll see. Just wait and ben. see. Let me warn you, I can take any nonsense from you. I can accept and stoop so low for whatever rubbish you bring, but I will not tolerate you bringing another woman into my matrimonial home. If you try it, Ben, if you try it... Yourself. All you do is just sit and threaten my life. You plot to kill me. Listen, this nonsense has got to stop. I have to do something about it. Back out of this house. Debbie is coming in immediately. No woman is coming to take you. I don't know why my own case is like this. I don't know why my fate is like this. I don't know at all. I don't know why these men behave like this these days. I don't even know what has come about, Oga. But don't worry, everything will be all right. I pray so. I pray so. <laughs> Why would you want to send her back in from the house? I mean, what is she doing there? If not, if not that she's a danger to my life. I would say you should not be in a hurry to send her back in. Baby, I, I don't understand you, like seriously. I really do not understand you. So you just want me to do nothing about this? That's how you persuaded me last night not to report her to the police. 
I just want you to be careful so we can avoid unnecessary scandal and wicked gossip from people of this wicked world. See, babe, at the right time, she will leave without any noise or incident. Okay, just watch and see. I hope you spoke to your parents about this. Ah, yeah, I did. <laughs> just as you advised. You see? That means the process of her leaving has already started. With one or two more white steps, she will leave with no noise easily, trust me. Oh, uh, Tokbe. Good morning, Tokbe. Yeah, good morning, Tokbe. You, you are leaving for work? Yeah, I am. Alright, bye. 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 What exactly do I do to get to where to start liking me in this house? Wait, we'll talk about this another time, okay? Hey, make sure you come back for the study first, so we can go to the study. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the moon huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I... Uh... <laughs> I will miss your body right after that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> He seems to like my body a lot. But I'm sorry, unfortunately, my body is going on strike until some issues have been sorted out. Issues? Mm -hmm. What issues? Hey, hey, see, don't spot, okay? And look at me, hey, nothing and nobody, all right, would make me lose you. See, I just can't wait for us to start living together or seeing somewhere else outside this place talk about attitude right yeah i know she doesn't have rights right to my affairs but she makes me on relax whenever she sees us together yeah and that's why i said you should move into the main house with me but i don't understand why you're not keen on that <sighs> move into your house when your wife is still there. Oh, baby. Come on, I... I was gonna send her back in, but you said no. Okay, um, maybe I'll have to think about that again. You better think about it first, okay? Okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Go to work. Work? Yeah. Hey, 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 listen. I'm the boss here, okay? And I decide when I want to leave. I mean, I could even decide to get sacked because of you. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, and so um, I'll just hurry and I'll make sure I'm back early, okay? Okay. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Like I said, everything you told me I have heard. I'm going to speak to Ben. Thank you so much, Auntie Rita. Thank you. That's why I've been going about trying to talk to everybody that I know can talk to him on my behalf. Because that Debbie Gill, her mission is just a very dangerous mission in the life of my family. You really think Debbie is on such mission? Yes. I know that she wants nothing more than taking over my place and taking over my matrimonial home. That's what she desires most. I thought she just came around to eat and run away like girls do to some married men. No. No. That girl is from the pit of hell. Maybe she's just fond of the house after so many years. Or oh, she's just bent on achieving her dreams on Ben. Don't you think so? You know what? If Debbie takes over your home, then it is your fault. I don't understand, Auntie Rita. How is it my fault? You worsened your case when you started making attempts to kill her and even kill Ben. Me? Auntie Rita, you know I would never do anything like that. 
I mean, where is all these allegations coming from? Why would I even try to kill anyone? That's what we are told. Ben has so many accusations against you. You know what? I don't have any other thing to say on this issue. My advice to you is go back and take care of your home. Otherwise, Ben will do something that you will not like. Angelita, the only thing that I did was to talk to her. I, 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 I confronted her, no doubt. But I begged her to allow me to enjoy the fruit of my labor. I begged her to allow me to enjoy my matrimonial home. That was just it. <sighs> I'm done with this conversation. Maybe some other time when we meet, we can, you know, look at it from a different angle. My dear girl, I want to go back to my business. I think they need my attention. Please. Just take care of yourself, okay? All right. Honey, how was your day? Now tell me, why did you go about damaging my name to everyone who needs me? Damaging your name? Yes. Why would I do that? You visited my uncle, Uncle Raymond. You visited Pastor Spencer, I.K. Solomon, and even my sister Rita. Why? Baby. You know that you and your mistress have succeeded in turning everybody against me. Oh, really? Debbie and I have succeeded in turning everyone's heart against you, right? You know what? I think I'm tired. You have to leave this house, Rose. Ben! Yes? What have I done? I mean, what would you say I have done now to warrant this? Ben. It hasn't gotten to that now. I, I, I'm sure we can work things out. It has. It's too late and I'm sorry. You can't say that. I mean, if you're not, I know that I can give birth naturally, but if you're not patient, we can try fertility clinics. This is not about your inability to have another child. This is not about your contribution to this family. It is not also about your, the, the, the wife material qualities that you do not possess. This is about your constant nagging. All right, and I'm tired of it. It's about your lack of interest when it comes to sex. Man, okay, fine. I'm sorry. I, I will change. I mean, we can make it work. Man, you and I have been through a whole lot. We cannot throw it all away because... Man, please. I'm not interested. I'm sorry. Ben. Ben. Ben, please. Oh, yeah. Good evening, Mrs. Okeke. Good evening, Ben. Rose, I thought I made myself clear when leaving this morning that I do not want to come back and meet you in this house. Who does that? Ben, what has my daughter done to deserve this ill treatment? Answer me. I'm in no obligation to answer that question, Mrs. Okeke. I am her mother, so you must answer me. My daughter is not a piece of trash you threw away like that after so many years of marriage. Or did you marry her for free? Look, if it's about the bride price I paid on her head, you people can keep it, okay? I'm not interested. Can you imagine? Is this politics or what? This is okay, okay. I, 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 don't, I don't understand again. I said I don't want. Or oh, is it by force? Please leave. Ben, can you recall so many years ago when you came begging? You were practically following my daughter all over the campus. You were ready to do just anything for her to be your wife. 
you were yearning and pleading. All of a sudden, the love just disappeared from your eyes. Ben, what's happening? Ben, I know it's that devil of a butterfly. See, 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 I, I think I'm fed up. All right? Rose, you have to leave. You have served your time here. Leave! What's this? My daughter is going nowhere. <laughs> Rose. Men, men, men. It's all right. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You will live to regret this day. We will never forget this day. Nah. Go in there, get your things. Let's go. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> go and get your things. Don't give him reason to think what he's doing is good. Uh, go and get your things. Let's go. My daughter, go and get your things. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Come, you guys should be fast. I don't have time for all this. You guys should be fast. Rose, if you are going to get your things, get out of this house. What's this about? I don't know how I'm going to cope in this house if you leave. We don't want you to leave, please. Flynn, my husband insists that I leave. There's, there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, let me go upstairs. Let me beg him. I will stay there until he changes his mind. Let me just go. Look, stop, stop. I know Ben. Once he's made up his mind about something, he sticks to it. There's nothing we will say now that will change his mind. No, no, this is not fair now. Eh? A union of 12 years. I know a lot of marriage that could not stand this kind of storm you and Noga have gone through. And this now. I look up to you, madam. I really envy you. I, don't, I didn't want it to get to this point. Please, something has to be done. Please. You know, listen, no matter what happens, eh, your job here is secured. Just know that. It's not the same now. Without you in this house, I don't have madam anymore. Um, Philo, I want to be alone now. Babe, can I ask you a question? Ah, go on. Why are you so keen on making Mr. Ben's wife leave that house? <laughs> Babe, Ben and I are childhood friends. My mother and I grew up in that house. The house has always been my dream home. And Ben has always been my dream man. Your dream man? <laughs> Babe. Whether you like it or not, Mr. Ben is married. And what you're doing with Ben is called adultery. Hey, please stop. Stop it. Don't preach adultery to me. I shouldn't preach adultery to you. What's that? They said the truth is bitter. I have advised you as a friend and you still do not want to listen. Okay. Uh, Yusuf, sir. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Is he the only one? No, no, I have house Oh, good, because I need lots of servants to do the run around for me. <laughs> okay, go to the car and get my stuff. Excuse me, are you okay? Then act it. Be smart. Yeah. Finally, welcome. Where are the rest of the maid? Ah, uh, Philo? Philo? Sir! Welcome. Can't help with my luggage. Didn't you hear me come in? No. What's with the attitude? And why are you lying? It's not me. Oh, please go drink in my <laughs> Baby? Yeah, baby. Um, we need to fire this people and get new ones. 
Ah, oh, come on. You just got here. You don't even know them yet. All right, you, you can do whatever you want to do. We'll just at least get to know these ones first, okay? Okay. Mm. Well, as for the house, I think I need to do some renovation, the painting, the decoration to my taste. Just go ahead and do anything you want to do. Baby. Yeah? What are these friends still doing here? This one, this one, the other one. Why? Baby, why? We need to take them out. No problem. Okay. Replace them with you and I. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wait, wait, is that all of her belongings? Uh, no, sir. The, the other ones, they are too big. I think uh, Philo will help me get them. The other ones are too big. I think Philo, you can't put them on your head. Eh? As big as you are. Come on, take, take those things to my room and make sure you tidy up that place. Yeah, so... Finally, we are here. Yeah, yeah fine. <laughs> <laughs> so we can just um The smell is everywhere. Ah, sir. The, the, the thing is that the, the smell has spread, spread ev everywhere. Mostly, uh, you see inside the house. It's, uh, you can't go in, into the house again, though. No. What could this be? Ah, uh, I, mean, I don't know. Um, do you do you know anybody or people that can come and search around? You know, when, I don't know if there are people that search for these things. Uh, I, I'm ready to pay. <laughs> yes, sir. I actually have some uh, group of boys. They they are very good in in this thing. You see, if they come here, they can just bring fast forward. They will see the smell, sir. Okay, um, please just do, just just get them, okay? Uh, uh, boss, uh, how much will you pay? You they go now. Make him talk. How much you go pay? If I call them now, if they talk the money now, you go pay. Up. And this smell is very terrible. Ah. Oh, 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 just just shut up. Get out. Uh, I'm sorry, babes. I'm sure we can get this sorted, okay? Please pass me. Oh, you can't. This 
thought of it this way. Ah, how can something be smelling in this house and nobody can find it? <laughs> you know what? I'm suspecting that woman. That so-called witch of a new madam that just entered this house. She's the cause of this thing. <laughs> no doubt. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Oh, don't you think that our old madam caused oh God. Shh. Don't go there. Don't provoke me, Yusuf. What do you mean by that? Have you not lived in this house for how, for how long? Have you ever seen any trace of wickedness? What is the meaning of that? Eh? But the, the moment this one came in, Yusuf, bring my bag. And you said you carried the bag, go, 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 inside the house. With the dirtiness, with the smelliness. And now we cannot find the trace of the, of the thing that is smelling. Eh? You know what? The earlier the better. I'll just, if not, call a girl. If not, that my, my, my bag is not outside there, I would have just been going to my father's house. What kind of thing is this now? Eh? See, eh? Philo? You you, you 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 might be right because it, as it stands now, eh, me I, 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 I am tired. Or or, or girls left. Enjoy with, with, with madam. Call him, madam. Be telling me. I'm madam. telling the number. We just with Hello, Oga. Yeah, hello, Yusuf. Oh, Oga, we did, we did not see anything. No, we we did not see anything. Really? Did they really do a thorough search? Damn, the people are searched everywhere. Yes, I, they, they've gone. They, 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 they searched every, everywhere. Nobody saw anything, okay? It's just me, I feel alone that I is in this house. And it's still smelling. Okay, uh, I'll get back to you, okay? See, see, he has got the call. Why won't he cut it when you're not telling him? Why are you telling him irrelevant things? I here? told him now. What is all this now, babe? I, I think you should just hire the fire service to come and do this thing. What would the fire service people do? What are you saying? There's nothing that the fire service people would do that these boys haven't done. So what do we do now? We'll just, let's just wait. Just be patient. The, the, the smell will fade away somehow. For how long? How long are we going to wait? Maybe next tomorrow or even tomorrow. Let's just be patient, okay? Now where will I be staying? We'll put up in a hotel, that's fine. A hotel? The house still smells, baby. Baby, if that house still smells, then it's cost. Cost? You think Rose would do such a thing? I don't think so. Anyone who is capable of murder can do anything. If that house still smells after three weeks, then I think it's spiritual. Spiritual? So what are you suggesting? That we seek spiritual solution? Of course. 
Where do you have in mind? Any, um, I can just talk to my former classmates. She attends a wet garment church. Just any prophets, just she might be able to help. The earlier the better for my wallet, baby. Your wallet? What's that supposed to mean? Babe, my, my account is going red. Trust me. Business is not doing fine. Leaving this hotel life is, is very expensive and you know it. I never knew you were broke, Ben. Baby, business isn't doing fine. And ever since I, I got involved with these custom guys, everything has just been so bad. And you know, I, I invested almost everything into, into this business, but I, I, don't, I don't understand what's happening. I pray they will lose your concern. Maybe I'm praying. I, I really hope to. I, I, don't, I don't know what is happening. Order is still in the house. Yeah. And who is she? You. She's my wife. She is your wife? That is the problem. The house is smelling. The house is having odor because of her. How oh, I, I don't understand. They will not let her have her way. They will not let her have her way. Because the house is not a matrimonial home. You have to go and reconcile with your wife so that the problem will come to an end. I, I don't understand. Reconcile as in coming back together? <laughs> you have to go and ask your wife, I mean your real wife, for forgiveness. So that the order in the house will stop. But look, they, they sh there should be another solution to this problem. Than going to beg her. She is the only way. She is the solution to the problem. I have spoken. Are you okay? I'm okay. Well, you're quiet. What do you want me to say? If you want to go and reconcile with her, fine. Who is talking about going back and reconciling with her? You sounded like it. If you want to go back to her, feel free. I won't be surprised. So you're really bitchy right now? I'm being bitchy. And you are what? A bastard. That's what you are. See, whatever is the case, I'm more serious. I mean, it's not like I'm, I'm getting back into marriage with her. I just want us to, you know, sit and discuss, have a heart to heart discussion. And just beg her to please remove whatever it is that, that is smelling. That's the beginning to, to the solution. Come on now. Understand yeah. what? I don't want to understand anything. See, Debbie, I think you have a problem. It's you that I have a problem. You have a problem. Me, I have it's, a problem. It's, okay. No, please just, just get out. I should get out. Yes. Me, get out. What okay. kind of stupid question are you even asking? Do you know what, Ben? Just stop this car. Let me get down. Ben, I said stop the car. I'm not stopping any car. And if you don't touch this, then we will die together in this car today. Please. Please, Rose. I'm, I'm very sorry. Please, I, I, I beg you. Don't be, don't be bitter in your heart towards me, please. What did you expect? 
then. You treated me like trash. You hurt me so much. How did you expect me to react? No, I, I, you don't understand. Rose, I, I know. I, I just want... Oh. Hi. Fine. Yeah. Mom. Dad. What's going on here? Um, nothing. I just came to see your mom. You were fine, right? Are you sure? Yeah, sure. Um, go inside. Your dad and I need to talk. Rose. What? Rose, I thought I made myself glad that I don't want to see this man here again. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. Um, he said he's sorry. Sorry? It's really not like that. Please. Please, I, I beg of you, whatever it is, all right, just come and undo what you did in, in that house. The place is, is terrible, the smell, no human can live there. Please, I, I'm begging you, whatever, whatever it is, you know, you put, wherever you put it. Rose, please, please. Ben, I thought you said that you were sorry. Ha, huh? see. This life right now, I don't have any other choice than to be sorry. I am very, very sorry. Very, very sorry. I don't have a choice. See, things are really bad with me. I, I need you people to understand. My goods worth over 250 million have been seized by the customs. I don't... My life, I'm, I'm going. Please. See, if, 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 you're, if there's a way you can lend me some money, you, you, you and your mom can, can come together and lend me money. Even if it's 5 million naira, please. Things are bad. So you're not ashamed of yourself. You carried your dead body into this house just to say you're sorry. Upon all you did, you actually rubbed our faces in the mud. The insults. Leave this place. No, mommy, it, it, Rose. it hasn't gotten to that. So ben, leave. Okay, I will leave. I will leave. Forget. If you reduce it, it is three million plus that whatever it is that 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 that's smelling. Okay. If you if you won't give me money at all, please just come and undo that thing. Rose, look at his useless face. Now get out! Out! Get out! Out! Leave this place! So how did it go? See, Debbie, I just I just want us to be there for each other. I don't want us to give Rose anything to share about. To share, I agree to come to something about the smell in the house. She's uncooperative. I told you not to go there. Now you see, they'll be laughing at us, calling us all sort of names, losers, and I hope you didn't ask her for money. Ask her for money for what? Good. So, what do we do now? Um, I, I'm thinking we will just keep staying at the hotel till, till we, uh, till I sort it out. It baffles me when you sound like you're going bankrupt. You can loan money from your business partners, friends, uh, even the bank. Yeah, see, Debbie, I'm on it. I've spoken to a few friends. Even though they didn't sound very positive, but I'm sure they will call me soon. This Go year. to the bank. They will give you a huge amount of money. You've got assets, you know. You're a big time manufacturer, for God's sake. Debbie, Debbie, the truth is, my business is suffering. And it's suffering from government policies that are not favorable. I, I, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying the best that I can. and. The only thing that, that seems to come to my mind now is, is just... Uh, you, know, I, you didn't tell me that place has an order. No, sir, I'm... Uh, huh? I... That is why you're running out of me no, because no, of the no, money. No, 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 I... Sir, I'm... See, I, not really. It's not really because of the money. But I'm sure when you get this house, you can do something about the order. Even for free. I don't need the house. Sir. I don't want it. Okay? Come on, sir. Don't be ridiculous. Okay, um, we, we talked about, you know, a loan. I was asking for a loan. We can, you know, quickly sort, sort that. I don't know if... I will think about that. Mr. Mike. I will think about that. 
Mr. Mike, I'll think about that. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to bring it down to 50 million naira. 50 million? I mean, that money is too much, sir. It's still on the high side. What do you, what do you mean by 50 million naira is, is still too much? If not that I'm in desperate need of money, do you think I'll be selling that, that, that property for 50 million? Nobody is going to buy that property for that amount. And you know why? So what are they pricing? Well, the best amount I got for that property is just 5 million naira. 5 what? What are you talking about? 5 million naira? For a property that is worth 120 million naira, you, you want me to sell for 5 million? The condition of the property has made it worthless, Mr. Ben. Okay, uh, forget about the property now. What about the land on which the property is being built on? Huh? Is it not worth more than 5 million naira? The land is worth more than So, so what, are you, what, what, what are you not talking about? How, how will I sell for 5 million? Everyone has assumed that the land is cost. And nobody will want to buy it for that. I'm, I'm no longer interested in selling. They can go to hell. Okay then. I think I'm going to remove uh, the property from my list. It's just a passing thing, Sam. I'm sure we'll get rid of it, okay? Good afternoon, sir. Can I have the keys, please? The manager asked me not to allow you inside. The manager, what, what are you talking about? Sir, you've been here for 13 days and you're owing us 630,000 naira. Yeah? Yes, sir. So? So? So he asked us not to allow you. Is that why we're being locked out? Wait, wait, wait. Do you guys know the worth of stuff in that room? Do you know? No, ma. It's, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. All right. Um, can I see the manager, please? He's not on the seat at the moment. Can I, can I call him? Just give me his number so I can, I can talk to him, okay? Okay, sir. Where do we go from here? But wait, why don't you check that? I don't know. I've, I've been trying to get this money. And you are well, okay? I've, I've been trying my best. Where is the money? You really can ask some stupid questions. What do you mean, where is the money? Me? Stupid. Yes. What's stupid about what I just said? What's not stupid about what you just said? You just talk anyhow. You don't know when to shut up. Especially when you're not contributing a penny to solve the situation. What's wrong with you? Am I supposed to contribute? Am I working? Or did you set up any business for me? Did you? Just listen to yourself. What about all the thousands that I've been giving to you? What have you been doing with them? The car I got you, what are you doing with it? If you just think to sell it, do you think it's going to be a bad idea? Sell my car. You've been eyeing my car. It's not going to work. If you need money so badly, go sell your cars. Okay? At least you still have one you're driving. Go sell it. Now listen, I think I've had enough of your insults. And I can no longer condone any of this bitchy attitude of yours. Are you listening? Why am I even still 
standing here talking to you about. I am going to lose this relationship. See this car? I'm not going to lose it. Let this be You know what? I'll just leave now. I wish you all the best in life, okay? Bye. Uh, Hello, Peter. Uh, please, this is what I want to know now. Do you have a five million naira available? It is expected that I am. Just tell me, is it ready? Okay, fine. Uh, just bring the buyers to my office tomorrow. Yeah, first thing tomorrow morning, okay? All right. Thank you. Uh, hello, uh, honorable. Yeah, honorable. Yeah, um, I'm, 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 I'm fine. I'm very fine. Um, I'm just close by uh, to your place. I'm just thinking that uh, uh, if I could, if I could um, pass pass the night. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. But we will still go to the Ministry of Land and Survey to verify them. Oh, oh sure, we have to. So how long will that take? How, how long will that, will that be? I think by Friday we should be done. This is Friday. Alright oh, then, we have to get going now. I mean, but it's, this is far from over. What else? No, I just have to still confirm with the bank and to be sure that the five million got into my account. That's just what I'm trying to explain to you guys. But, but you just got a bank a lot now, like right now. Yeah, you know, I'm just um, trying to explain that I have to meet the bank, my account officer, to be sure that you know the money got into my account I, i'm just it's it's even more curious to think that i i didn't even get to see the buyer of this house i don't i don't know how, i don't know how these things work is it necessary or didn't we represent well no no, no. I'm, I'm not saying you did not represent well okay oh, oh, okay there's nothing to worry about you can go to the bank while we wait here for your confirmation is that okay Um, madam, the house is now yours. I must commend you. It was a smart move. Good thinking. Prompt thinking. Ma, you're on point. I saw it all in the document. What I don't understand is the house is really cheap. I mean, he must really be desperate to sell for that amount. What was he thinking? Very desperate. You need to see the look on his face. But, Madame Rose, uh, I'm thinking, how will you get rid of that uh, killing smell at the house? Ah, uh, the smell. And that smell is horrible. I almost fainted. Uh, you know, I actually took a risk on the house. But I'm a bit, um, I'm a bit positive. I have a feeling that I should be able to find a solution to it. I don't know for now what the solution would be, but... You know, there's no thing without solution. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. What can I offer you? Would you like to drink? Whiskey and ice. Whiskey. What would you like? <laughs> 
Over seven million naira to get out of Debbie's case. My assets and, and properties liquidated by the bank because of accrued loans. See, when I go, my magnificently built house, I had to sell for a cheap sum of five million naira because I was owing our hotel bills. Like I, I really do not know how I how I found myself in this journey of. Of waste and sexual recklessness. Well, it's not been easy. It's not been funny, I must confess. Well, there's one woman I know in this entire world that can help you stand again. Your wife, Rose. She is a strong woman. And uh, very intelligent. Oh yes. And uh, she can help you. No. No honor. I'm done with doing anything with any woman. Just just leave that aside. See, honorable. I just need you to help me with one million now. I honorable, just listen. I need this money. I just want to start life afresh, please. I am going through similar case again with my mistress and my wife. But with your story and experience, I am disengaging from any illicit affair that will wreck me down. Yeah, I understand, but I'm just. I'm just asking for one million. I, I, I know you want to leave that, but this this is what I need now. One million naira. Oh man. I wish, I wish I can. I wish. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She wants us to come back to this smelly house. <laughs> so you mean the smell has not been flushed out? I met you here now. How am I supposed to know? Hey! What? But wait, Philo, you know, come to think of it. Oga just abandoned the both of us just like that. That's so I say, Amo. Let me tell you something. What is it? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh, madam is the owner of this house now. Huh? No, Philo, it's a lie. You mean say, madam don't buy this Rose. house? Now she gets this house. Huh? No wonder, no wonder. When I call me, say, make I come this place, eh? So that I can now be the new again security officer of this place. Where did you be before? Eh, now what did I talk to you? Feel no work, no day, and then we are no work, no work. I just did like that, so happy. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. So now, true, say, madam, they come. Uh -uh. <laughs> ah! Mother. Good afternoon, ma. How are you? Fine, Baby, fine. how are you? How are you? Fine. Um, take Yusuf, open the gate. Oh, yes, madam. I know you'll be wondering why I called you here. Well, I need you both to clean up the place because we'll be moving in. Madam, the smell is very strong. Oh. Hey, close your mouth. Madam, for you, eh, everything is possible. We're going to do our.
smell is really bad. I'm familiar with it. We're ready. Yeah, sure. Mama, cover your nose properly. know the solution because I am the one that caused it. I asked a friend of mine to get me a very deadly chemical. A chemical that if you spray around this place, nobody will be able to survive the smell for years. That is what I sprayed around the house. Because when my enemy said I wasn't going to have peace, I had to make sure they didn't have peace as well. Um, I've already called him. He'll be here soon to fumigate the place with the antidote and everything will go back to normal. Yes. What I need you people to do is you can either wait outside for a while or you go home. Mama, do you want to wait here or you want to stay in the car? Until this meal dies down. Okay. All right. Sit in the car. It's all right. Very soon everything will be okay. Well, hope we can go home and come back tomorrow. Oh, uh, no, 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 don't worry. I know that I am going to make a very successful proprietress. Yes. I will get back to you on it. I just need to sort out with the Ministry of Education and then I'll get back to you, say, next week. All right. Let me call you back. Yusuf, what is it? Uh, madam, huh? uh, you have a visitor. The visitor does the person not have a name? Uh, it gets. What? Uh, mother is is uh, is Oga. Uh, I mean, your former husband. My former husband. What is he doing here? Huh? Uh, Mom, is that not supposed to be dad? Uh huh. So, Diane, I do not have anything to do with your dad anymore. Our divorce case is in court, and your dad has a restraining order not to come close to me, my child, or my property. And then you, Yusuf, or whatever you call yourself, why did you even bother to come and disturb me with this news? Are you mad? No, ma'am. You are not. Yusuf, you are mad. Very mad. Get out of my sight right now! Get out! I, I know that you're my boss, so, but uh, as it stands now, you, you, you know that it's, it's, it's Madame that employed me, uh, and uh, she, she, she's my new, new boss. Uh, she, she said I should not let you let you in. No problem. I I just came to congratulate her. Oh, I I learned she bought the house. Huh? I mean, she has proven to be the smart one. Yeah, like. They say uh, wives are always smart, aren't they? Yeah, so that's why I came. Yeah. Okay, she said I should tell you that you, you, you should follow court order. Can't I see my daughter? Sir, no. Uh, see, sir, just call her on phone. Call her, I, I believe she will pick. She won't pick. Huh? Ha. Okay, sorry. See, there, there is nothing I can do. Eh? Sorry. 
To grow up without the father, even when he's alive and lives in this city. Mom, my friends are going to laugh at me. I'm going to be bullied at school. Mom, please, forgive him and let him come home. Please. I am, it will be hard. It will be very hard. Mom, please. Just forgive me. Ah, I left him at the gate too. Oh. Hey, by nine don't walk I go. Did he drive? <sighs> drive? Like at this bench. Mom, please. Let's look for him. Mom, please. <laughs> you, you don't you so go and look for him. Okay, madam. God, Oga, wait. Uh, thank God I found you. Eh? Oga, Madam, say I should call you. What are you doing? Obeying court orders. Ah, Oga, look. Madam, say I should call you. She and your daughter, they are waiting for you. Please, let's go back. Really? Yes, sir. Let's go. Sure. Oh God, thank God do. God, good news. 